Number 53, letter A. What is the ratio of the strength of the gravitational force to that of the strong nuclear force? All right, so let's just take a look at that. So here we have letter A. So we're comparing the gravitational force to the strong nuclear force. All right, so just look it up in the table, right? This table is right from the textbook. So the gravitational force, it says, is 10 to the minus 38. So 10 to the minus 38. And the strong nuclear force is 1. So this is simply 10 to the minus 38. So what this means is that the gravitational force is 10 to the minus 38 times weaker, right, than the uh, strong nuclear force. All right, let's take a look at letter B. So I'll go back to the question. It says, what is the ratio of the strength of the strength of the gravitational force to that of the weak nuclear force, right? The weak nuclear force now. So for letter B, now we're comparing the gravitational force to this uh, strength of the weak nuclear force. So again, just look up the table, look up the numbers in the table. The gravitational is 10 to the minus 38. And then uh, the uh, weak nuclear force is 10 to the minus 13. Okay, so just simply do the division. You can basically just subtract the exponents here. So 38 minus a negative 13. Well, not a negative 38 minus a negative 13. Should be a negative 25, right? So this is going to be 10 to the negative 25 to 1. So this is how much weaker the uh, gravitational force is when compared to a, or when compared to the weak nuclear force. So 10 to the minus 25. Great, and now letter C, last but not least. So what is, the uh, what is the ratio of the strength of the gravitational force to that of the electromagnetic force? So same procedure here, letter C, the force of gravity over the electromagnetic force. Force of gravity on the table is 10 to the minus 38. The, strong, the uh, electromagnetic force is 10 to the minus two. So simply just subtract basically the exponents. So you're gonna add the two to negative 38. So that becomes uh, 10 to the negative 36. And that's how many times weaker the gravitational force is than the electromagnetic force. And then it says, what do your answers imply about the influence of gravitational force on atomic nuclei? I would say it's pretty negligible. What do you guys think? I'm glad you agree. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. And I will see you in the next lesson.